During our second night, the wind died down, causing us to lose speed. We tried to alter our course a little bit, but it pushed, put us way off course for Turks. After a little adjustment, we headed full speed toward our anchorage. We all made bets on when we would drop anchor on our third day. I am proud to say that I won this bet. I said about 2 p.m. We were there around 1.45. Morning on the third day at about 8.45 a.m., I spotted the lighthouse on Grand Turk, which was about 9 to 10 miles away. See anything? Land ho! Excellent. Lighthouse. How far off are we? About five hours later, we anchored in South Caicos. Paul took the dinghy over to the island to check us out. While waiting, we went for a little snorkel and had a little nap in the sun. The snorkeling was so colorful and there was no one else there, just us. The next morning, we lifted the anchor and headed through the Caicos banks. It was a little overcast, so we motored through. We lifted the keel and on the lookout for any coral reefs. The Caicos banks is about 17,000 square miles and is less than 20 feet deep, with white sand and crystal blue water. Later that night, we made it to Bob's Southside Marina where we would spend our last night on the boat. It was an amazing experience to sail with the ocean and with amazing people, Paul and Cheryl. We learned so much and we'll take our kids with us next time and hopefully do it ourselves on our own boat one day. It was better than we expected.